Hello from Little Creek Bee Ranch. We have a cool lesson in regards to uh, swarm catch boxes. That's what we're doing today. We just did one. I'm going to do another one, but we're going to a little bit of a twist on this one. See this box right here? It's got a medium on top and a deep box. It's not a brood box. It's just a 1 by 12 simple box, inch and a half hole. And we caught a swarm in here. Now this was last year. And the bees were here until, I want to say, maybe December, something like that. December 2020. It's March, of, it's March 23rd, 21 right now. And I thought, well, okay, I caught them in the summertime. And in this medium is like four, only four medium frames. So I just put in four. And there's nothing in here. And they built big comb. Boom. <laughs> broom, broom, down through there. And I wrestled. I thought, well, I could cut that out this summer. But I think I'm just going to let that turn into a mess on purpose. And, and I'll film it next spring early and show students how to cut, cut the comb and put rubber banded into frames. Oh, that'd be a cool lesson. But I had to let it get big. You know, I had to let them build it out. I could go in there and change it easy enough, but I miss out on the lesson, you know? So I'm trying to create a mess to correct it and make a good lesson. Well, <laughs> it didn't quite work that way. It didn't quite work that way. So, so I'm going to open it up. There's no bees in it now. They left sometime between December and now. I don't know, a couple of months ago. Before, probably before the big giant cold front Arctic blast we got. They're not stupid. They probably found a better home. Maybe somebody's house, <laughs> wall, even the house, or whatever. Let's open it up and have a look. It's pretty cool. <sighs> down okay if it comes off let's see if I can do this this way yeah. no, 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 no. lid let's do it this way okay I want you to see this let's see if I can do this without screwing it up check this out Just sheets of comb. Now I'm going to set it over here. And this one, let's see if I can. Where's my. Uh, okay. In other words, it's a mystery to me why they would leave. And I want to know. I can get. I look down in between here and there's there's no dead bees in the bottom zero nothing but check this out now here's one sheet of comb Ooh. okay here it is aha what the heck here okay so let me come over here there's a comb <coughs> Get in the camera. Now, that is a queen cup, not a queen cell. There was no, there was no queen that hatched out of there. That's just a cup. And they're, they're common throughout. They absconded with their old queen. That's just a cup. And it was set like that so so okay now gotta get really detailed here when you see these don't panic they're just queen cups but what you want to do I know this is like brittle you're going to take the corner of your hive tool and peel that if you can't see peel it back there like that so that you can look 
inside of there and tell if it's wet or dry. You'll see a, a grub or an egg with oil jelly. If it's wet, then we know we're in swarm mode, right? But if it's dry, okay, then they're on the left side of Eddie Wood's timeline, which you can study more about. But I thought that's pretty cool. Okay, so, so look at the comb. Nothing on it. No food, no brood, nothing. Just a cup that was that was dry. Okay, and, and a queen didn't come out of there. There was no queen that came out of that. Okay. All right. Like we're doing our sleuth inspection. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No food, no brood, <laughs> just wax, just wax. Just scrape that off. It's not a problem. And a little house cleaning. Just tailings. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Watch. Still learning. Check it out. Whoop. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. I want to be able to do this without destroying. No, 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 no. Oh, there it is. See this? This is a what, icing spatula. If you can find them, grab them. Very handy. Pliable. You can get under the comb and scrape it right off. Oh, what is that? No, no. Interesting. Okay. See, I'm curious. Okay, see if I can do this big sheet and show you. Mm. Mm. That was kind of hard. Ooh. Couple of bees. Okay. No, no food, no larva. So we'll, so, so we'll just, we'll just crush this and put it in our. Uh, there's a little bit of pollen there. Nothing major. Interesting. They absconded for some reason. They decided to vamoose. You know, a lot of newer students they get they get pretty emotionally exercised when bees leave or die and you got to kind of overcome that beekeeping's not a one for one zero sum game it's more like it's more like five and three for every five colonies i have maybe three will work out something like that so don't get too panicked learn sustainable principles that's why we teach it Okay, I'm looking, there's a few dead bees. Okay, here, here's a good lesson. So I do it this way and check this out. Okay, here where I can see. Can you see the bees in the hole, the cells here, or the corner? I'm pointing with this corner. Ooh, some geese going over the top. 
We say, girls. Oh, Lee. Okay, so there's bees in the cells. Bees in the cells. Okay, those aren't poor little bees digging for food. No. These were heater bees. You can see them along here. If I bring it in even closer. There. Here and here and here and here. And here. And here. And there. And there. And maybe even a mass. Those are heater bees. Those bees go ahead in the hole and run their, run their wing muscles like you do jog in place. And they create the heat. And then you'll have an insulation layer of bees around them. And when they get tired, they'll come out of their cell and another one will go in. So if they die and you find all these bees head in, those aren't poor little bees digging for food. <laughs> That's not what that is. I'm sorry. Those are heater bees. Those are the ones generating all the heat. It's just like jogging in place. They go ahead in the hole and they run their wing muscles and create a lot of heat. And that's what you see. And they're kind of hard to get out. The problem, problem is, set my tool down. The problem is they're slippery. Like you're going to grab them. Oh, I got that one. So, yeah. You know, yeah. Too slick. You might get their wings. They got their wings. Okay. Kind of. Ah. Uh, and I don't want to go through here. And Usually I can't get them. So you just leave it. You just process the wax. I thought it was curious that here I, I was going to let this work out into a, a worse of a problem and then come in and cut this. So you, you could you could cut this. Oh, it would be about right there. And then rubber band that into a frame to get them all sorted out. You're the beekeeper, so you got to get them going down the right path, you know? But that didn't work. <laughs> That's the thing in beekeeping. Boy, you can have a plan, but you're guaranteed the bees are going to change it. So, better be flexible. <laughs> you better be flexible. So, so what we'll do here is just uh, clean this up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just ha house cleaning duties. And all these... Now, now, this is basic lessons. All these tailings, these are called these tailings, of wax, you're going to save. You're going to save this, man. Okay, that goes over there. Get you a coffee can, something like this, and just start putting all that stuff in there. Oh, it adds up quick. Yeah, it adds up. So don't just chunk it all you know wax is expensive we want to we want to save our wax i had uh not one of my students but a new beekeeper years ago she called me and said well i didn't know what to do with all my wax cappings in my five gallon bucket so i threw it out for the trash man to take i didn't know what to do so i was like i had a heart attack no 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 you don't ever do that no uh -uh. there's a lot of honey in the cappings and there's a lot of wax because that's what it all is is wax and wax is like a sponge and it will soak up the cappings or the cappings will soak up the honey so you can process that out <clears throat> okay so interesting okay so there was a little lesson i thought that was interesting so now i'm going to uh, shift gears i think and set up another catch box but okay they come uh, let's see let's see what i want to do i want to make this let's do this let's um ooh, since bees were already here let's do this okay now i'm setting this one up as a catch box see bees were already in it so there is the, the smell of, uh, hey, bees were here before, man. Okay. Oh, there's some more, more wax. 
See this now? Okay, now here's a good, another good lesson. <laughs> Bouncing back. See, see how they pull off the bottom? See that? I mean, if you let it get really far, then you got major work, but whatever, you know. You got to be cognizant of it. They'll pull it right off the bottom of the frames. So you cut it off and whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it off and rubber band it back. Old man about fell. You about watch the old, old beekeeper bust his butt. <laughs> well, my. <sighs> okay. So it's going to take a little bit of work here, but this is good. See, you get to see this. So, so okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the frames out. Now they've been sprayed with Zentari one time anyway. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping. A little bit of... Okay. Sometimes it's hard to see. Da -da -da -da. What I'm doing is on the shoulders is all this propolis. See how it builds? Oh, there it is. See how it builds up? And it makes it hard to move the frame. So I just, boop, real fast scrape. All basic lessons and you come over here and you can push it up pull it down over here down we go now I don't get into saving propolis some beekeepers freak out they want to say propolis well it's up to you okay that's good enough and the sidebars and the top bars okay now, all right, okay. <laughs> See the X? See the X? That's fishing line. See the ends right here, the fishing line going around? The fishing line this way. See the X? All that is is there to hold the foundation straight while they pull some good comb. See how it's not too terribly wavy. And if I had a queen cell in here, I could just cut right through with my pocket knife, cut right through the fishing line. If that was wires, I couldn't do it. So I hate the wires. No, no, no wires. Don't need them. No. <clears throat> okay. So I showed you my hand movements. That's what I'm doing. It's just, it builds up. It gets annoying. That's all. That's all. It is to be too much. Okay, let's see. We're going to like lay it flat. Like that. Turn it. Like that. Okay. I don't, I don't chase down problems. Okay. I'm doing house cleaning chores. That's what we're doing, house cleaning chores. Now check this out. <laughs> yeah, you just have to watch. So in the, in the rabbit, this, this area here is the rabbit. There builds up a lot of propolis. Just scrape it right out. So I can move my frames. And on the side walls of the box. Okay. Or you could turn it this way. One good scrape, like that. Okay. Season, we call this a seasoned box. It's okay. You can tap down some staples, get back in there. Not a problem. Seasoned. You can use uh, tongue oil varnish to seal your boxes. It's much harder to see from the road, you know, as far as uh, bee thieves, you know, there are bee thieves scoping, scoping things out for sure. Okay, now my concern here is, here we go, is cleanliness. You see all the garbage built up here? We want that off. 
we're gonna we're gonna make this real attractive Get the dirt out uh, let's see if I have da, 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 da. nope I'll stick with this okay run a little long but Get a good lesson. Sticking with the same box. It's black inside. It's not gonna hurt the bees. That sprayed a long time ago. Just to make it dark. Just to make it dark. Okay. Here's our box. Ooh, that's a good box. Sealed. All right. Another lesson. Oh, this is good stuff. Okay, here we go, getting detailed here. Check this out, this is for new beekeepers. Okay, where did this, okay, here we go. See the corner, I'm, I'm looking at this corner right here. Now I'm gonna pull it in. See the propolis that's laid in the corner? Turn it this way. See how the bees seal stuff up? They seal that baby up. They were sealing up everything. They'll seal corners. Oops, they started on that one. I'll go over here, turn it. Okay, they hadn't got to that one yet. A little at the bottom, maybe. Turn it again. A little bit there, they were starting on that one. See that? Yeah. And I put uh, a date. It says uh, tongue oil. I did tongue oil varnish on it January of 2019 on the outside. Now, not the inside. Another lesson, see the inside of the box, how it's golden? It almost looked like I varnished it. No, 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 that's not me, that's the bees. And if I feel of it, it feels tacky waxy. I'm feeling of it. That, 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 that is propolis. On the whole inside walls of the box, they lay down thin layer of propolis. So they seal up their cracks and they use their tongues and paint the inside with uh, propolis. Ha, you might not have known that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that in there to show that, hey, there were bees here at one time and they'll go, ooh, we like that. We like that a lot. Okay, check it out. Now, I'm gonna change up and go in in this set with a full complement of frames of comb and foundation, whatever I can scrounge. I gotta hurry. Good lessons. Yeah, I can fly. I can fly through my work. I know what I need to do without filming. But if I do that, then you miss out, right? Okay, I'm turning them. Okay, they were sprayed a year ago with Centauri, so uh, they haven't had a lot. Some, but not a lot. Okay, change in here. That goes there. So, so this, this, is, this is a catch box too, but we want this out of here. We don't want it in there. I like this lid. I'm gonna stick with that lid, I think, for this set, this set. Okay, there's, Another one. Ooh, okay, so so if I'm gonna go in with foundation two, okay, it needs to be alternated, alternated. So, so here's comb, foundation, comb, it's called checkerboarding, foundation. Ooh, there's a nice little comb, that's okay. 
foundation. That's okay. Wow. Oh, that's weird. I'm just inspecting the comb. Centauri. Oh, this is a great. This is. <laughs> these boxes have been out here for more than more than a year, and they're still, you know, great. I love cutting boxes, particularly mediums. Okay, so check it out. Here we go. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna push them together, like you saw me do. Push them together. Got my B space, right? <clears throat> And I think I want to stick with. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is he doing now? See, it's a cloudy day. So this. I'm looking behind me to my five o'clock, and there's two colonies there that are alive, but they're not super active. If it was sunny out, they would be over here going, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> They're so curious. They're just like little kids. Hey, we want to check this out. What are you doing? Like little two-year-olds. It's awesome. Oh, this is fun. You gotta love your work. Okay, here we go. Trying to get to gabbing. All right, here we go. Okay, Swarm Commander. Here we go. Temp Queen Stick. In the center, up high, two staples. There we go. Cool, very good, very good. All right, we're using this one. We're taking this away, taking that away, taking this away. Okay, here's our target right in here. See if we can do this right the first time, right here. <laughs> One squirt. <laughs> Dead gum. That was half a squirt. I got two halves, make a hole. <laughs> Dead gum it. Two halves, make a hole. Per the instructions on the package. Two on the porch, one on the underside of the inner cover. <laughs> you gotta love it. Gotta love it. I, I would have to say there very much is a trick to learning this. What the bees really, really like. What they really, really like. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, cool. I'm gonna turn you down. Here we go. All right. Right here around the hole. One. Ah, there we go. Okay. Again, two halves make a hole plus one is two. <laughs> there you go, man. Oh my. <laughs> You just got to laugh. Boy, the first, I have to say, the first couple of years I was learning to keep bees, I had control issues. Bees are not something that you so much are going to control. You better learn how to be flexible. And I mean big time. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed all the time. <laughs> all the time. Okay, so did we do that? Full compliment, we did that. Okay, here's what I do. With a magic marker, magic marker, I'm not aesthetic on my boxes. I ride on the back of my boxes. I'll say uh, SWRM setup, swarm setup. Uh, swarm catch box there swarm catch setup three twenty three twenty one 
Just so I know when I did it, you know. Not a big deal. And then... All I'm doing is cleaning off an old lid. Okay. Now, you know what I used to tell my son when he would work with me and help me? Let's just do one more. <laughs> let's do. Let's do it. Let's do one more. Let's come over here. Did I already do that one? Did he do it or not? <clears throat> I don't think so. Maybe he did. Was it? I just did this one. Did I do this one? <laughs> Find out. No, I didn't. So guess what we're going to do? One more. <laughs> if any of my really old students are listening to me, they're laughing at me going, yep, that's him. Let's just do one more. Ooh. May not be able to do one more. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's go uh, up a little. There we go. And in. Oh, yeah. And then. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, notice my wagon is behind me just a couple of feet, which is helpful so I don't chase and stuff around. Okay, now my objective here is to do the same thing I did over here in a whole new set. Okay, so I, uh, da 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 da. <sighs> What I'm doing is just sweeping out this box, this medium, because I'm going to use it. Watch this. All right. So the frames, this will, will be the box that I'm setting up as the top. And I'm simply inspecting <clears throat> inspecting frames now okay you don't have to see this but I'll tell you on the outside walls we want foundation and then comb and that's just a bit it's a bit old here's a comb I'll use comb okay check this out <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, this is good. Another good lesson. Ooh, this is a good this is a good filming day. Okay, check this out. See the webs? Okay, but now this where's my okay, this see the X is kind of dark. The well, spray was in Tari. Okay, spray was in Tari. Okay, but but I'm looking here and I see little shells of, oh look, it's dead larvae. They're not alive. Beetle larvae at that. Look at that. Whoops, sorry. The Zentari killed beetle larvae too. Ooh, a lot. Or is that old worm larvae? That to me looks like. Oh, beetle larva. Now, I won't use this. But my point to you is, they all died when they're small. See the webs? Oh, look, 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 look. Are they alive? I don't see them really moving. Oops, gosh, I'm off there. Sorry. No. No, I know they're falling to the ground. They're dead. Okay, look at that. Yeah, okay, so I won't use this one. You know what I'm saying? I'll just strip all that out and 
be done with it. <sighs> hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I'll leave that one to the side. This one's the same way. Yep, yep. Okay. So, this box gets set to the side. Where's my brush? Temporarily set to the side. All I'm doing is brushing off all the debris. These are, uh, they're neat nicks. They are, they're critical. So go ahead and clean it the best you can. Clean house. I mean, you wouldn't want to move into a dirty home, right? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now, check it out here. The one next door that we just did has a full complement of mediums up top. Scented with both lures. If they house up in this one, all I gotta do is smoke them, push the whole set over, set a new bottom board where the catch box was, take the medium off and set it on the bottom board, and another medium on it, and I'm operational. So I have a little bit of a movement, not, not, not terrible. Uh -huh. Let's see. Hold on. I'm thinking this through. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. Okay. So this box goes up here. <coughs> Frames. That one's set. <clears throat> now I'm going um, next door. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So you can see. So I'm going over here to check that top, which there shouldn't be any bees in it. It's catch box two, but we're we're getting them, you know, we're getting them set up, all set up, right? Right. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice and clean. Okay. So. Da, da, da. Equipment changes. Strategy. It's all about the strategy. Okay, so foundation to the outside wall. Comb, that's okay. That's okay, comb. I'll take that. Oops, I'm gonna turn it around this way. Oh. Foundation, all right, another good lesson. Again, yeah, this is all new, new beekeeper stuff. See the divots? That's what wax moth larvae does. They burrow in there to hang on, spin their cocoon, and then we got a cocoon latched on. Look at that. <laughs> you, see, you see the texture? Look at them. They, eat the, they can dig down there now. See that? Get a close up. Look at all the whole, look at all the divots. That's nuts, man. Yeah. That's why this Centauri strategy is so important. You know, I wrote this book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the divots. Yeah, we don't want that. You know, you gotta protect your equipment. You gotta be smart. Smarter than the average bug. There you go. <clears throat> okay, 
I like that one. That's good. I like that. Well now. <laughs> oh, 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 yellow jacket, don't like them, don't want them, DRT, dead right there, don't like them, <sighs> all right, another lesson, Let's see if I can do this, I don't know if I can do this, oh, I might be able to get away with it, watch this, Okay, so let's let's go up here. Yeah, I can work. Yeah. Okay, so I have a frame that's got fishing line on it, like we showed you on a, a comb that uh, was a nice comb, had the X. Okay, but uh, but but this is busted. So so we want this off. Okay, we want this off. All right. No, no, watch this. <laughs> this is real easy, man. Real, uh, I just want, ba -da, gone, done. Okay, not worried about it. Okay, now, it has a cleat. This, this piece that goes along here is called a cleat or a wedge. Okay, and it's meant to pinch the foundation in, but it doesn't always hold. It just kind of snugs it in there. Okay, now, now watch this. But it has four nails in it. Now, I'm gonna tap them out. Ugh. Okay, I don't, I don't wanna throw them away. I do wanna use them. Oh. Where can I put them? Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. In my Ziploc bag. There we go. Oh, this is good stuff, man. A whole bunch of lessons all in one film. Let's just do one more, right? Okay, so now that's a way. Check this out. So we're going to take the... I'm going to take the uh, frame and the wedge, and, and it, was hor it was flat. We're going to turn it 90 degrees. Turn it 90 degrees. And we're going to push it in and snug it up against the, the back, right? And then we're going to staple it down <laughs> in the field right now before your very eyes, right? Now, that made an edge. <laughs> Check it out. See the edge? That's all it did. A lip, an edge, and that's all the bees need. And they're going to pull wax, boom, boom. But you got to have on one side comb or foundation, on the other side comb or foundation. You can't give them all tabs. We call this a tabbed frame. You can't give them all tabs. They get they get confused and they build wax, boom, all crazy comb. Tab foundation, tab foundation, tab. Foundation. There you go. So in the field, was able to capitalize on a screwed up frame and turn the wedge and staple it in. Yeah. Okay, now it's gonna go in between a founda foundation, tab, comb. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. Now there's seven, there's six, seven, eight. I need two more, eh? Well, I don't have them. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, la, 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 la. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this old nasty comb, uh, it has a uh, tab in it. I'm going to strip out the, strip out the old comb. <laughs> yep, I'll take that. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Another lesson. Oh, this is good stuff, man. Oh, I'm glad I filmed. Okay, check it out. So this was a, the old one you saw. Now, it looks gnarly. It's okay. Okay, so there is... We used to do tongue depressors up here. And that's old. That's an old system. We do that old system. But we leave the pattern. We leave the pattern. And the bees will come clean this up. They'll come clean this up. And here's a pattern. Whoops. There's a pattern. And, and they can smell this. Now I'll take my knife and run down through there and get this out. You know, like clean it up. Clean it up. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. So now I have a tabbed frame. A little bit. That's okay. Okay, got the idea? Got the idea? I'm going to do the second one just like that. And it has to be treated just like the other tab frame. And it goes in between. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. So what I'm doing is just taking my knife. It's got no wires in it, no fishing line, and just running it down and cutting it out. I hate wires. Why? If you use traditional wire system, you're going to find out real quick, okay, this stinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why we use fishing line. Yeah. Okay. So I just took my knife and went... Okay, so now this is another old one, a tongue depressor. Now we apparently lost a tongue depressor here. But again, the principle is I have a pattern up here, right? Okay. I have a pattern here, a pattern. And it's clean enough to me. I'm looking at it. Oh, let me get rid of. Okay, I'll just show you. Where is it? See him packed up in there? But they're dead. They look dead to me. They're not moving. Centauri killed them. We'll just make sure. That's right. Good. Good. Stops them before they get a major rally on me. God. Good. I'll use this. Not a problem. Okay. Wee, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Where do I go? Between a comb, <laughs> between a comb and a foundation. Okay, back to my space. Let me make sure I'm on. Da 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 da. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, man. Good lessons. Okay, here we go. Get my space. All right, made my adjustments. Full complement of frames. Combination of tab, foundation, comb. Bottoms being cleaned. I just need to give them the sweet stuff. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah. Find my, here's my lid. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> LittleCreekBeeRanch.com, personal advisor program, and read what all is included. Zoom classes. We started doing Zoom classes. Boy, that's, that's turned hot. And you can't beat that. You can sit. I've got, I've got students that sit in their lounge chair with their popcorn and soda <laughs> and watch a live Zoom class. That's like cheating, man. <laughs> and yes, you know who you are, too, because <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> That's great. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Stapled in a temp 
Champ Queen, Queen Mandibular Pheromone. Where's my Swarm Commander? Da -da -da -da. this different this time right here I want a good you know a good line rather, rather than a dot I want a line <laughs> God, that was that was weak again there's two weak ones okay two weak ones <laughs> equals a good strong one right <laughs> Dang. Okay. Lid. Need a lid. Wah. Lid. A lid. But I do want lids. Uh, the uh, how do you do this? If you can see behind, if you see lids get they get uh, webs and spiders and garbage and all kinds of creepy crawlies going on. I don't really care for that. Black widows and stuff. Okay, lid down. Looks like all the others, right? Yeah. Of course. A brick now there it is and then two squirts on the porch opening yeah no 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 coming back of course if I have a rainstorm come in today so I'm gonna wash some of this off but one Two. There was like again two weak ones. <laughs> two weak ones equals one plus one is two. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it. <sighs> man, you got an hour of lesson. How cool is that? Okay, so let me uh back out. Let me back out. Do 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 do. All right. Oops. No. Show a little more. This was a little colony that, excuse me, died out. It's okay. We'll clean it out later. Free zone. Free zone. We want to honor the free zone so that we can make our slides and maneuvers. So if I catch a swarm in here and if I see them coming in and out of the hole with pollen, Okay, that, that tells me they're feeding the queen. They, the pollen is protein. And they need it. They need the protein for their eggs and larvae, which means I have a laying queen. It's all done by visual inspection. Outside. Outside. So we're... Okay. I have to cut this short here a little bit. I've had, I'm sorry, sorry, okay, battery's dying anyway, gotta go, see ya. Gosh darn it, man. Okay, got neighbors, distractions, all right, I'll finish up, finish up here. Okay, so. Okay, I gotta go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Gotta go. Later.